guys, it's Kugli again with another video and this time I've got the Moki OS for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, Moki OS, well, I've got a lot of history with this ROM. In fact, the first custom ROM I used on this very device when this was mine and uh, I actually used it for a couple of months straight through only because it had a very very interesting feature which I will get to in some time. So let's get started. Now, first of all, what you would see here is that well, ambient display is available so that is pretty cool. This is the launcher with which it comes. It is launcher uh, apart from snap or uh, quick step. So it doesn't have quick step. So also that means means that you are stuck with the AOSP style recent menu which is fine by me so that's available apart from that everything is basically the same let's go to the about phone page in the about phone page you can see that it is for the oneplus 3 the uh, android version is 9 this is based on pi if this is the Moki version, Moki API is Llama version 9, security patches are January and the vendor security patch is in November for some reason, so anyways that doesn't really matter. Kernel is a 318.120 that is a specific kernel and uh, that is pretty much it in the settings or about phone page. Now let's get to what Moki is. Moki was an amazing ROM by a ch Chinese development team and uh, for me it was the perfect ROM at the time because it had a great feature called incremental updates. I know that Lineage and OmniROM also has incremental updates but this one also had a lot more features and I really like that. This was before Lineage uh, came into being, before it was CyanogenMod. Mod. And, uh, with Cyanogen Mod as a base with CM Theme Engine, I'm, I was really into CM Theme Engine. Well, this one seemed to be a really really great feature with daily incremental updates that was amazing i really like that now moki has um changed in some ways uh, i will talk about that in the coming time let's talk about this rom right now before everything everything works i didn't have any issues with it everything uh, is generally working vlt is working it doesn't have a vlt icon but it does have this dreaded sim1 is hd capable message you can disable that with the roots you just need an extra application anyways other than that everything is uh, working no issues whatsoever now let's get to the features now first of all all the features are baked into the settings menu. There isn't anything called a Moki setting anymore. Uh, previously, there used to be one. First of all, uh, in the display options, you do have a live display. I really like live display. It does have dynamic mode, which is my favorite one. It also has display mode with night mode available. So it, you can customize the night sensitivity. So if you want really dark and all that. Automatic out outdoor mode is available if you want extra brightness with your phone. Reading mode grayscale is available and also reduced power consumption. All that is available. Theme engine is available, which is pretty cool. It is not like the CM theme engine. I mean, CM theme engine has gone way of the dinosaurs. It does have a dark mode, a light mode, and automatic, and also automatic, which is a wallpaper based theme engine, is also available. Dark mode also has the default gray and the black mode. Accent colors, all of these accents are available. All other stuff is basically the same. It does have ambient display, it does have always on if you want that. Pickup hand wave and pocket mode is available, which is pretty cool to have. Tap to wake is available, tap to sleep is available on the lost screen. All of these options are available. And the sound option basic stuff uh, you do have a shortcut for preventing ringing option for a non oneplus device is available ringtones can be customized and uh, that is pretty cool the security options you do have fingerprint scanner and all that i do note that i do not have uh, encryption on i have removed my encryption just to have uh, more access to other roms so just keep that in mind there is trust option which is a great feature for uh, lineage based rom so you can actually customize stuff in here it does have privacy guard if you want to micromanage all the privacy options of any application SDN status can be customized and also signature can be customized if you want that it is available for those who want to tinker around with it one more thing which i really like in this one is uh, something called a uh, fingerprint shortcut so fingerprint shortcut is pretty cool now this is my normal unlock finger now finger 2 is my middle finger on my right hand what it does is if i lock my phone and i use my middle finger to unlock it it will directly go to clock application which i have set here that is pretty cool if you are a someone who wants to do that it's available and uh, not really sure if any other rom also offers that the system options is where you will find most of the other stuff in the button option you do have on screen button customization if you enable on screen button it automatically disables the hardware button so that's there nav bar options are available show arrows while
while typing you can enable that power menu options are available you can customize that from here and call from power menu to long press the power menu when the screen is off for torch and also automatic torch off is available and i like that home button options are available and you can set for long press and double tap and uh, this is the cm style or lineage style options available recent button options are also available for the same thing volume button options are available with the control playback and keyboard cursor control which are two of my favorite features which i look for in a custom rom in the extra button settings you do have customization for the notification slider and notification slider is working for those who are considering that and also swap button is available because it comes with samsung style uh, navigation buttons uh, out of the box now system profiles are available if you have ever used a lineage rom uh, previously and you actually do use system profile it's available for those who wants to care about that it's pretty cool and the status bar option you do have customization for a few of these quick pull down is available network traffic inventory can be customized now it does have an auto hide but you don't have the threshold selection option so that is the thing system icon can be customized if you want anything else to do with it battery options are available in this one so if you want the uh, battery icon uh, and all that if you can customize it from here clock positions are available you can customize it and also show seconds mbm indicator brightness slider is available with auto brightness option and also brightness control by sliding across the status bar is also available and toggleable from here now in the gesture options you do have a touch screen gestures which is the one plus gestures with the screen off uh, options works out well enough it's pretty cool jump to camera is also available by double tapping the power button when the screen is off or in any screen prevent ringtone again same thing now in the developer options is where you will find advanced reboot if you want to do that apart from that everything is basically the same thing nothing special here so yeah that is in, in the extra settings or settings menu as you can see it's not the most feature rich rom it's probably more feature rich than a lineage rom but again moki was never a feature king moki in my opinion at least was never going to give you guys all the features but it gave you guys in a very very interesting package it has almost all the features which i like i would still like a little bit more features but it's pretty cool apart from that there is a moki center here which is uh, where you will find most of the stuff a great feature about this rom was the incremental update and i really really liked incremental update but i say was because incremental update is not really accessible to anyone really unless you pay 30 chinese yen or whatever it is called uh, cny that's the only way you can get incremental update previously on oreo i believe uh, incremental updates could have been installed manually uh, from their website but i guess they have just stopped it you have to download the full entire rom i do have an update as you can see this is running the second february version now the third february version is available to be extremely honest that was a dick move personally for me uh, there may be people who are paid into this and uh, who were using this power to you i don't want to pay for every single rom out there and uh, get that earlier versions of moki os also had a lot of uh, features in it also there was an automation application which is uh, actually worked really well this one doesn't seem to have it i don't know if they are planning to implement it or not but anyways that is what it is and then if you want to pay into it this is where you unlock features by clicking on unlock feature you have to donate uh with three options here you can do that if you are so invested in moki platform i'm not so i'm not gonna do it but hey that is how it is so yeah that is pretty much it with the extra features and all that not the most feature rich rom but does have a bit of features to keep you entertained now let's talk about the battery life the battery life is uh pretty mediocre in my opinion nothing special i'm, I'm getting almost 15 percentage of active drain and also 1.5 percent of vital drain which is right about the threshold of what they would consider as normal for a one plus three so that's what i'm getting nothing special going on here one thing is that it does have a battery saver mode which is the lineage based receiver mode with extreme power saver and automatic power saver personally never felt who did a lot of job but hey it is available for those who want to care about that now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom is actually pretty good i got about 166,000 as an average which is the highest i've got on a pi rom incidentally got about 165 with all the other roms this is 1000 higher the benchmark score doesn't really translate directly to real world usage this is a way to just compare against one so yeah this is the highest one which i've got so take it for what you will now the stability of the rom stability of the rom is pretty decent i didn't have any issues with any applications everything works i guess on the oneplus 3 there aren't any rom which has given me uh, issues with stability apart from a few very very few roms which may have caused one or two issues in general oneplus 3 is a stable platform for a custom rom so you need to worry about that now the camera the camera is actually pretty good it uses snap camera 
takes pictures takes decent pictures actually it does have a pro mode it does have a night mode uh, i like it. it it just works and um i'm pretty happy with that everything just works really well so yeah selfie camera also works hdr is available if you want that pretty good package you can uh, of course install gcam and get it working a little bit better so i'm not gonna keep you in a box there now the aesthetics of the rom the aesthetics of the rom is actually pretty cool it does have a dark mode but as you can see the uh, navigate or the notifications are not dark uh, that is one thing apart from that uh, the icons are also customized as you can see the calendar icon and um, all that is uh, customized basically the same google application so you don't need to worry too much into that recorder is available which is pretty cool aesthetically it's a pleasing rom but i would have liked to have dark notifications also and also substratum does work if you are using root it's not oms so font size and all that is not something which you can use but again not much of an issue for those who already have dark mode i only use substratum for dark mode and a few select applications you can use root to get that so it does work now let's get to the overall experience of this rom the overall experience of the rom is uh, pretty normal that's what i can say about it it's not overwhelming it's not out of the world amazing or anything like that it just works it's a good daily driver with a decent battle life if not ex exceptional but that's pretty much it it works calling can be done and it does have automatic calling which is not something which i can say about a lot of other roms so you do have record automatically with format and all that i like it so these are the stuff which is available now i like that i like that in this form so it's pretty cool overall experience is pretty high let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for moki on pi so you can see moki open source that is moki os with the google-esque uh, dots available and uh, yeah it's pretty fast so guys there you have it that is the moki os for the oneplus 3 and um, it works it's a great rom for daily driver usages but uh, i mean i know that moki is going to add a lot more options in here one thing which i really like is that uh, moki's um ad based revenue system has been cancelled or uh, not present in this rom because on oreo i instantly regretted using the rom because they, their um system ui itself had injected advertisements which was excruciatingly painful to use because every time you click something there will be an ad popping up which was amazingly bad so uh, at least that's not here so i'm really happy with that i guess how much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you find it useful see you guys next time Bye.